What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is gonna to be a fun one, at least for me, because I'm back on my home course. This is Skybrook Golf Club. For anyone that doesn't know, I got really big into golf at about 13 whenever we moved up, you know, kind of away from all my friends, and I picked up golf. I used to walk this course you know, anywhere from 18 to even 36 holes a day, especially during the summer months. And yeah, I'm just super happy to be back. The course looks like it's in great shape. It's hole one. I haven't played in forever, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, we didn't hit the driving range because of course we were running late, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you can, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new here, and let's, let's play some round of golf. All right, we're 128, slightly down. It definitely took a couple shots off the tee. We gotta work on the driver, but let's uh, give this a shot here. We're hitting 54 degrees. Oh, that was so bad and so thin. That's gonna be long. All right, first hole definitely was a bust. It's gonna take a few holes to get the rust off, but second hole is par three. It was a 187, I hit seven iron. A little long, a little right, but I'm real happy with the contact. For me, the biggest thing when just jumping right back into golf is getting that touch back, like around the green. And short game used to be a strong suit of mine, so I don't know, we're gonna, we're gonna play a little higher lofted shot. It's probably gonna jump out of the rough pretty good because it's sitting up high. Got, you know, probably 15, 15 yards here. I'm gonna open a 58 up just a little bit. I guess for taking this much time off, got a 10 foot putt to hopefully save part. All right, bogey, whatever. I guess I'll I'll be satisfied with bogey golf today. That's for sure. All right, let's go to three. Three's the one of the hardest holes on the golf course, so we'll make the best out of it. All right, this is hole three. Uh, this is the hardest hole in the course. We've got a creek right here, narrow fairway, and then another creek. It's about 275 to the second creek. We're gonna hit a four iron, aka the hardest club to hit in my bag right now because, yeah, it's the these are the TW Victory Red Blades. Great clubs to get right back into it with, but let's uh, hoping to not lose the golf ball. I draw, I'll take it. I think it's even in the fairway. I'll take that. That's, that's pretty solid for this hole. All right, uh, four iron worked out perfect. We hit that about 255, 260. Pretty pretty solid four iron. Uh, we're 129, slightly uphill. Wind's dead. Uh, we're hitting our 54 degree. Uh, let's hope for the best. Maybe a green and reg, that would be nice. You know, nice little comeback. Just on just three holes to get a green and reg. I thin, so thin. That's a 160 yard sand wedge. That is gonna be a very difficult golf shot. All right, I found the ball uh, downhill. I'm definitely gonna try and land it maybe a foot off the fringe. Not that I have that type of touch anymore, but I was worried about leaving it short because of the false front and then the intimidating bunkers. But all right, we're gonna open up the club face, try it, get a little loft under it, maybe a big bounce off the fringe. Just don't want to go long here because like i said that false front is going to take it far oh too far too far all right i'll take it i'll take it we're, we're putting for par again like i said i'll be happy with bogey golf today another 10 12 foot attempt for par it's uh this is probably going to be the story of the day Go, go, go. Hey. hey, we'll take par on the hardest hole on the course. Let's go to the uh, fun par five, little dog leg right. All right, so this is number four, par five, dog leg right. 
Uh, this is like hands down my weakest link in my bag. When I started to get into golf, probably like in the middle of the pandemic, I picked up this driver because all the other clubs in my bag are like 10 years old. I got the Titleist TI2, TSI2. It's nice, extra, stick, extra stiff shaft, nine degree loft. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it, This is something that really needs a lot of work. So who knows, this is probably gonna end up in someone's microwave, but we'll give it a shot. We got really nice houses, the whole right side. And of course it's a dog leg -like right. So egotistically, you gotta try and snug the right corner. So. Let's, uh, anything in play, I'm happy here with. I smoked that. Okay, we're gonna be able to find it. I'm just gonna make the hole a little bit further. Of course, I hit a draw on a dog leg right, but it's in play. All right, so here's Bernie. This is like his third time playing golf ever. He's using my dad's golf clubs. Just give a thumbs up for Bernie. All right, so we found it. A little left. Uh, the not a, not a terrible lie. We're 230 to the flag, 217 to carry the bunker. I'm hitting five, and I'm gonna play it right. So it's the green is pretty long. So hopefully I should be able to get it on the green in a nice roll over the hill. But let's give it a shot. Still in play. Try and try and make par out of this part five. All right, we're not bad. Uh, I have the wrong club here. I'm 58, but good good miss. I'll take it. I thought I was in that bunker, but it's all right. Uh, up and down for birdie, maybe. I'm gonna try and play a little bit lower, spinning shot. But like I said, touch touch is a big thing to get back when you've taken a long long time off of golf. So see if I can do kind of a more of a check shot here. Oh, that went so high. That was that was not the play at all. Definitely, I would say this is more of like a gap wedge to pitching wedge, like a bump and run. Especially when you have, you know, 40 yards of green to, to really let the ball roll out. You can be a lot more precise. But two putt for par, two putt for par. We'll take it. Go ball, go, go. <laughs> Whatever. It's uh I'll I'll take I'll take par. We'll take pars. Two pars in a row. It's par five, it's just take advantage of these. Back in the old high school days, I would be upset with a par here on this hole because it is a it's pretty easy par five wide open, but hey, back to back pars, I'll take it. Alright, hole five. This is uh this is an interesting hole. If you look up here, there is goes to the left a little bit but it's extremely uphill so wherever your drive lands it basically just stops in the hill so I'm gonna try and aim for those two like no carts signs up there but like I said with driver anything can happen so it's, it's a really short hole how, how far is this hole 340 so I mean if you hit 320 it's, uh, it's pretty pretty good ways up there Oh, a little heel cut, because look, I fell back here. Oh, it's flirting with that white stake over there, but like I said, if I don't lose a golf ball, I'm happy. I feel like I don't record any of Bernie's good shots because he did just hit his driver right here in the fairway, which is way better than mine, but it's so hot. It's, uh, Where is it? Oh, almost right on, right on line with the flag, but it's 86 degrees. It's one o'clock and it's getting hotter and hotter, but let's see if we can go find my ball and hope it's not out of bounds. All right, I got really lucky. I think my ball landed in there then rolled right across, but look how close it is to the white stake. I mean, we're probably right where Bernie's standing is out of bounds, but now we've got a tough shot, some weird like crab grass here, not an amazing lie straight uphill, false front, the pin is on the front. So I do remember this green though, there's a second tier. So I'm gonna use that kind of like 
backdrop as a as a backboard hopefully it'll funnel back so definitely want to be long here but then not too long because we got massive bunkers on the left side so oh let's give this a shot like i said anything with a 58 degree takes a lot of touch to get back so let's give it a go go ball go 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 oh i did exactly what i said shouldn't do but i got so lucky it's just sitting there on the lip all right we're not not bad shot sitting on a little bit of nice fluffy zoysia grass um all right another 58 degree shot Put it down for par baby three in a row let's do it oh a lot of spin on that but, all right five foot putt for par let's do it no i pulled it <laughs> bogey golf all right, number six, downhill, par four. It's like 400 yards. This used to be one of my favorite holes because when I actually was somewhat decent at golf, I could swing really, really hard because it's like 200 yards wide. But like I said, we're just trying to keep balls in play this round. Let's see what you got. Wow. It's an awkward swing, but a really good ball. Should set us up nice for a par. All right, solid drive, 75 out. Uh, I feel like all I ever hit is driver 58 degree, but um, can't really complain. I just gotta get this 58 dialed in and hopefully we can start throwing some rounds back together. So let's uh, green and reg here, trying to get it inside a 15 foot ring. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> All right, I'll take this ball in it right here. Yes, I'm gonna fix my divot. But gotta try, try and win one back here. It's, uh, no gimmies, as many golfers know. Three foot putts are nothing, nothing easy. All right, we got one back. I'll take it. We're only we bogeyed one. We bogeyed five so we're only one over through six it's not bad let's go part three this next one's tough all right uh hole seven part three 156 to the flag got pitching wedge got the drone up there i gotta hit a good shot for it to show up in drone view but let's see what we got going should be a nice easy swing with the pitching wedge Oh, high and right. I think that's alignment issue there. Yeah, I'm aimed right. We're pin high. It was the right club, but all right. Got to go try and fight for par. All right, it was the right club. That's for sure. We're exactly pin high. Should be fairly simple shot. I say that, hence the word should be. But let's try and get it up there inside that three foot circle. Oh, I drop kicked it. Oh, I drop kicked it. This is tough when it's right here on a downhill, like edge of the rough and fringe fairway lie. Got to make a good putt now. Oh, <laughs> gave one back. Oh man, we go birdie bogey, but that's all right. We're two over, got two to play. I'll take it. I'm honestly playing better than I expected, but like 155 yard par three, you got to make par on those. All right, par five. This is the opportunity to get one back. 550 yards into the wind. Got a nice wide fairway, which doesn't really mean anything for me. But just keep it in play. Oh my goodness. Ugliest golf swing of my life right there. But it's in play. Oh, that was ugly. All right, uh, really bad drive. This is about like 50 to 75 yards shorter than normal but we're going to play this hole conservatively i can't see the flag as you can see if you look that way uh yeah it's a dog leg left but i'm gonna play there's a bunker right behind the trees it's about i just shot it with a range finder about 200 yards so i'm gonna play it just to the right i see the 150 that should get me you know just inside 100 yards but you should 
should be able to get up and down and two putt from there. So just gonna try and recover this drive here. Oh, I'm swinging out of my shoes, but we're okay. All right, it worked out pretty good, as ugly as a, a layup shot that was, but I said just to the right of the bunker, okay, it actually rolled off the hill quite a bit. So 105 yards above my feet, 58 degree. I don't know how far I hit this 58, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember, but just gotta get it up and down, turn two putt, walk away with my par. Should be a nice, easy swing. It looks good, but it might be long. Yeah, it is. Oh, it had some good zip on it. All right, so I'll take it. Sit. All right, I almost made a birdie. Uh, it's crazy, but I'll take par. Move on to, what are we, two over? Going to number nine. It's not bad. If I break 40, I'm really happy. All right, hold nine. We're just a couple over. Uh, I feel like this hole, it's, it's out of bounds, it's not that tight, but if you, if you really, you know, heel cut one, you're definitely going to be OB. So we got to try and break 40, just going to nice easy swing with the driver, aim right for the 150 marker, and uh, get this round over with. Little right, far. Wow, holy smoke. Okay, I hit that really, really far. I think the furthest I've ever hit it on this hole, but I think we're okay, I think we're good. All right, definitely furthest drive uh, I've ever had on this hole. I think I landed just through the fairway and I guess it rode down the car path a little bit. Yet again, driver 58 degree. I'm gonna open this one up. I think I've got enough space on the green to let it roll out a little bit, but just gotta try and get it on the green. Two putt, let's get out of here with a 38. I pulled that really far left, but we're, we're dancing. Oh wow, that turns a lot, a lot, a lot. Moment of truth truth right here. I'm just kind of scared because that just turned a lot, but I'm going to power through the break. Hey, nothing like finish with a three putt on a hole you almost drive. So, hey, that's why short game is extremely important. It's the difference between pros and ams right there. You can hit the ball 350 yards off the tee all day long, but if it takes you four more shots to get in the hole from 40 yards out, so it's a different so I noticed the video was extremely different but it's getting back on golf course is something that makes me really happy it's just like a really good way to disconnect even though technically I'm filming right now but this is something that's really really enjoyable to me so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did if you could smash the thumbs up button I know I say it a lot but so does every other youtuber it really does help push videos it helps the channel grow it helps engagement because Although we're almost to 100,000 subscribers, <clears throat> Instagram only, or correction, YouTube only pushes the video out to like the first 10% and if engagement's well, then they'll push it out more to, to more people, more people that are subscribed, which makes no sense. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want more content like this, you know, throw it down in the comments down below. If you want me to try and get like that tracer app where you can actually see the flight of the ball, I'll, uh, I'll definitely invest in stuff like that if you guys are interested in more golf videos. So I love you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying all the content we've been pumping out recently. And until next time, peace.